Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna simply go in to set up. We're gonna go in and 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 set up our Facebook ad, but we're gonna go through the first setup, the first steps that that are required before we even get there. And it's simple. It's just setting up setting up our custom audiences and setting up our custom conversion. So, um, my page is to the left. Did you already change out the link? The the did you already switch it to your custom link? So yes. Yeah, okay, cool. So just get coder link. You could cancel. Cancel. Yeah, get coder link. And then just open up that link in another tab. So just, yeah, perfect. So just copy that whole link, open it up in a new tab, and then do the same thing for the thank you page. So we need these two pages up. Okay, so these are the two the two pages that, that we're going to be running traffic to, right? So the opt-in, you have the opt-in, and then you have your thank you page. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the ads manager. And we want to set up our custom audiences really quick. So let's hit the three lines, go into audiences, or it's a bookmark audiences, custom audiences. But yeah, there's your audiences. So we always want to create a, an, an audience around, around the opt-in page and the thank you page. So just hit the blue button, create audience. And we're going to get very specific on, on these as well. So custom audience, and then website, and then next. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, the, the all website visitors, we're going to hit that drop down the events, all website visitors, and come down to specific, the second one down. And then the retention, 30 days. Why don't you take it up to 45 days? Anyone that's hit this page in the past 45 days will stay in this audience. And then all we're going to do is get the opt-in page, copy copy just the domain. No www, no HTTPS. Yeah, just that part. Yeah, make sure it's just that part. And then we're going to paste it in. And then what we're going to do yeah, see, for, yeah. So just take away the um, yeah, take away the the www. Yeah, all that to the left. Perfect. Okay, and then hit the drop down, the blue. Okay, you're good. Okay, now scroll down, and we're gonna exclude. We're gonna exclude. So we're gonna make this audience very, very specific. These are people who landed on the opt-in page, but never opted in. They never landed on the thank you page. So this will be a good audience that you can always retarget. So as you as you build it in the future, run it, run an ad to it again. Um, a listing, another open house, you can retarget this audience again um, because they never opted in. So same thing with the events, hit that drop down and come down to specific. So you're always just going to match mirror the top. So um, in fact, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. It's actually, you're not mirroring the top because these are leads. The link that we're going to put here, grab the thank you page. That's the link that we're going to put here. So I don't want to, I don't want to, to minimize it to 45 days. I want to max it out to 180. I think 180 is the max. Yeah, 180 is the max. So, and then paste in that link. And so now, oh, yeah, it's just, yeah. So you gotta, you gotta always double click the link, but it's okay. How but do I delete this? You could just um, move that bar to the right. Yeah. So just paste it in with just, just the domain. Okay. So, and then the title, you're going to scroll down and give it a, give it a title. And this is simply, um, this is simply 4310 Forest Ranch. Yeah, 4310 Forest Ranch. Um, and then in parentheses, visitors only. They've only visited the page. They never opted in. Visitors only. Okay, perfect. Create audience. Okay, that's audience number one. Now, audience number two is going to be our thank you page. So those that landed, that actually landed on the thank you page. So create audience. Those are those are actual leads. Um, website next and then here all you're going to do is website visitors hit the drop down go to specific and then the max here go to max it out to 180 so facebook will keep that and then just paste in the link here uh thank you uh yeah the thank you link the thank you page and then um and then just give it the name so 4310 forest ranch and then in parentheses leads so Facebook will keep these people in this audience for the max, which is 180 days. And so in the future, create audience in the future, this could be, this could be an audience that you exclude from seeing future ads, or it can even be an audience that you include in, in your targeting in future ads, because at the end of the day, the property is only going to one person to one family. Right. right? So what about all the other people that actually opted in, but didn't, didn't get the property, oh God. show them another ad show them another listing, you know? So, um, but at the same time, I tend to not, not do that when it comes to the lead, when it comes to the custom audience of the lead, because running an ad to them is going to cost me money when I can just simply email them. I already have their email. That's true. Okay. 
right? So if I had a video, if I actually did do a video, so let's say, for example, you you did you did a video, you put on your Facebook business page, and yeah, we're running an ad on it. But I already have that email list from the, from from these leads from that audience, right? Let's say let's say this happened last month. So so last month we ran forty three ten. We have an audience of leads. Next month we're going to run another open house, and and again, one thing I'm saying is you can exclude them or you can you can include them. I would exclude them, so so I don't have to spend money on it. And then I would just send that new open house to that email list because now Got we have that email list. And maybe in that email, hey, hey, Dave, this is Sharon. Just want to let you know about our new open house, our next open house, our our up, our open house we have coming up this weekend. I know you inquired regarding my one last month, but unfortunately, it went to another family. Take a look at this one. Click here to view my video now. And that as they sense. click, they can go straight to that actual ad. As they click, you could just link them straight to that video on your Facebook business page. That makes sense. Right? So it saved me on having, having to spend money. I can just email them since I already have their lead. Got it. So so what I'm trying to say is that you, yeah, exclude them. So leads are, are is an audience that you'll you'll always exclude. You'll always exclude from, from future ads, from future listing ads or future open house ads, the leads. That the makes leads. sense. Okay. So, so that's good. So that's what we needed. That was step one is creating the audiences around the thank you page and the opt-in page. Now what we got to do is create the custom conversion around the thank you page. We got to let Facebook know out of these two pages, the thank you page is the most important. That's the page we're trying to get people to the thank you page. That's the custom conversion. So to do that, we're going to click on the three lines and we're going to go to, or we can go to our, audience, our, our bookmarks for sure. Yeah. So, so go to custom conversions. And then here, we're going to just simply create a new custom conversion. So we have this one on the buyer guide leads, um, hit the blue button, and then we're going to just create another one. Um, and the name of it, go ahead and give it 4310 Forest Ranch. Um, and, and I would name it the same as I named the custom audience, 4310 Forest Ranch leads. So you can, you could totally name it the same as the custom audience. So always remember the custom conversion is only necessary for the thank you pages. Um, and then uh, custom audiences for everything else, for the opt-in pages, for videos. And so now um, we're going to scroll down to the blue, select your own category. And we're going to come down to, um, yeah, hit the drop down recommended and then come down to lead. Okay, perfect. And then just go ahead and paste in the um, thank you page link uh, right there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah. And, yeah. Take out the... yeah, take away the, take away that. It just calls for just, just the domain. Oh. And we'll click create, and then it's going to take us through a couple steps. So go to business settings. So so really read that. Go back, click on the other tab, 15 to the left. It says instruction number one, in business manager, go to your settings to assign the custom conversion to your business ad account. That's what we're doing. So now click on the other one, the business settings. <clears throat> so now um, scroll down to the left. We have, we're in custom conversion. So now you're going to add assets and simply add it to the ad account. So right in the middle to the right, add assets to the right. Oh. Right there in the middle. Yeah, add assets. And then you're going to just simply connect it to your ad account right here. Okay, cool. So add. And then now the next step, so we'll close out of this one so we're good here. And then now the next step is go to web configurations. Um, in Events Manager, go to your domain web configuration and add this to your custom conversion. So here, all we're going to do now is click on your domain, which you'll see right here. We'll click on that one, the one of eight. Yeah, let's click on that one. And then manage events. And then edit. Okay, cool. And then here's your custom conversion. So we're going to switch out um, the the buyer guide leads to the um, to the 40 through 10. Actually, you know what? Let me... Um, because that's actually re is this replacing the other one? Go ahead and put it back, put it back to the um to the buyer guide leads, and then just simply just simply add event. Yeah, add event, and let's do yeah, let's do this one. But then it's showing as lowest priority. Um, but go ahead and put forty three ten, and click apply. And then yes, I confirm. Okay, cool, and then apply. Okay, awesome, we're good. So. Once this um once this goes through, we can now go straight in and run the ad. So those are pretty much your two your two steps: creating the custom audience and then creating the custom conversion um, around around that thank you page.
OK, and then now click on the three lines to the left. And now you can go and create the ad. So ads manager. OK, perfect. So now we're going to just click on the um, the green one. And then we'll go over here to leads. We're going to come down to leads and then con and then continue. OK, perfect. So now we'll just be taken over here. We're in the categories. You'll always go housing the drop down and then just give it a title at the top of the, as well. The new leads campaign. Yeah, delete that and 4310 Forest Ranch um, and then in parentheses leads. That's the objective, the leads. OK, cool. And then um, next and that's it. So that's step one. Super simple. Choosing the objective, which was leads and then going housing. That's it. And then here, we're going to just simply scroll down. We got website. We're driving it to a website. And then your, your conversion event, X that one out. And then come down to your other one, which is the 4310 Forest Ranch Leads. Perfect. Um, and then we're going to just simply go ahead and um, – did we miss anything at the top? Or did I miss anything? What? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, cool. So now we'll scroll down. And now here, all we're going to do is go budget. We'll – what do you what do you, what have you seen people spend on open houses? Because it's literally just trying to target people to come out. It's, I don't I don't foresee like spending a lot of money on it because I'm also going to have all mm -hmm. of the open house signs on that day. But it's just really kind of drumming up. Really, it's kind of drumming up. Well, I don't know. What are your thoughts on yeah. what you've seen people do? Well, not the cost per result. You wouldn't go there, but scroll down. It's the budget and schedule. So right yeah. below. Yeah. So just go, go, go lifetime. And, and I would run it from when is it's next, it's next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, next Saturday. And I'm not going to start it till Friday. Probably. Yeah. So you're going to go Friday to Friday, or you're going to, or, or are you going to go Friday to Sunday, Friday to next Sunday? No, I'll go probably. Well, the, the open house is next week, Saturday. So Watch I was going to go your calendar, open up your calendar real quick. Right then. I was going to go, I was going to go. It's the A. So I was going to, I was just going to run it Monday through Friday. It's not really a lot of time, but but you can. Or should I go or should I go Friday to Friday? I would go probably. When when is it? It's it, it's it's the eighth. It's Saturday, and it's only one day. Yeah. I'd go Saturday to Saturday. So go from the first to the eighth. Yeah, from the first to the eighth. Okay. And and maybe spend maybe spend maybe spend ten bucks a day on it. Maybe spend seventy bucks on it if if that was if that's in the budget. Like I would spend at least at least ten dollars a day on it. Okay. Yeah, seventy five lifetime, and then change out the date at the bottom. We're Perfect. going. We're going the first. First, and then and then what I would do too is I would start it. What times it end on on the eighth? It ends at two p.m. on Saturday. I'd eight. go two p.m. to two p.m. Got it. I'd run an even seventy five dollars, um, based on the time. So two p.m. to two p.m. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, cool. Perfect. We're good. Okay, awesome. So, so scroll down. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to people living in or recently in this in the, re, people living in or recently in on this location. And let, let's go into your custom audiences real quick. Let's see the custom audiences. Click inside that box above real quick to the yeah, right in the middle custom audiences. What do we have in here? We have the the intro video that that's already ended right the intro video yes go ahead and and, and retarget that audience retarget the through play and then um and then yeah that's it really the through play yeah. the other one's still running so that's good so it, yeah retargeting the, th the through play perfect and then the united the actually actually there's a buy, there's a buyer guide lead that's running right now yeah the, that it's still running though so it's still running yeah yeah too yeah. big to retarget but um the intro video that's a decent one to to put in the retargeting okay so so um people living in and then so take out the united states just hover over the united states and just put in the actual address and what i what i would recommend is is putting the actual 4310 forest ranch and then just and just building it around 15 miles around the actual physical address so go down to um yeah keep typing until you see address not place yeah we want address Oceanside, keep keep typing. Oceanside, yeah. See if you can. There's the address. Perfect. So it's ranch. It's it's so it's Ranch Way. Forest Ranch Way. Yeah, I guess it is Way. 
Okay. Okay, cool. So 15 miles, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Unless you want to go further out, but I don't know if people 20 miles away are, are driving in. I think, I, I think I'll go, I think I'll go 25 miles. 25. Okay, cool. So you and, never know people in San Diego might be looking to move. Oh yeah. Yeah. So 25 and then just type in the number or you can do it that way. Perfect. Okay, cool. Perfect. So we'll scroll down. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Now here's what we're going to do too, is we're going to, um, yeah, scroll down. We're going to come down to the placements, go ahead and hit manual placements. Let's, let's kind of narrow it in. So rather than putting it everywhere, just uncheck mm -hmm. Instagram messenger, Instagram messenger and audience network, and then here the feeds. So just click on, um, to the left, the, the little arrow. Yeah. Click on that. And we're going to leave Facebook feed Go ahead and leave Instagram feed. Leave Instagram feed as well. Leave Instagram feed and then um, marketplace leave and then uncheck everything else. Everything else all the way down. Okay, perfect. So we'll just have all, all budget going into, into just those three placements. What about this? Yeah, uncheck all of this. Budget. Targeting placement, all, all that is in the ad set level step two. So now I'm on the third and final step. So select your Instagram account. Go ahead. Uh, uh, we didn't actually name this. Should we name it? Yeah, you can name it. So click on it again, and then just give it a name. And what and and all I'm doing is just naming what happened below. So budget seventy five dollars. Um, oh. Okay. Forty three ten. Forty three ten. Forest Ranch, and then um, and then um, dash edit placement. That's kind of all we did. So I'll just I'll just briefly describe what happened here in this in this one step. Manual placement. Yeah, manual placement. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Cool. And we're good. So next, and then here you'll just simply hit the drop down for Instagram and connect your Instagram account. Yeah. Perfect. And then yeah, the title at the top you could just put force. You could just put forty three ten Forest Ranch video, because it is a video, right? Your ad is it a video? Uh, the video for the ad. Oh, actually, is it on the business page yet? You haven't even posted it yet, huh? No, I haven't. So I, I, okay, I just wanted so, to get all of this. So first okay, I would need to post it on, so what? on my video. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So do I always have to post it or just, can it just be like, or no. can it just be like this ad? Yeah, it could just be the ad. You don't, you don't always have to post it. Um, Yeah, so let's just. Let's just, what do you, what do you have planned for it? A video or an image? I feel like it should just be an image. Okay, cool. So do you have the image right now? Uh, you to do, be right? honest with you, it was just, I was just going to screenshot this right here. Okay, what let's not think? screenshot what are your it. Thoughts? Take that image. Yeah, let's just take the actual image, not the screenshot, but the actual image of the, of the property. Yeah, let's just do that. You have that file. So just hit ads manager. Okay. Yeah, that one. And then scroll down and then um, right, go up a little bit. So right here, create ad, and then you're going to simply um, manual upload. Yeah, scroll down, single image, and then you'll see the, the add media button right here. So add media, add image, and then just upload the, the image from your from your computer. So upload, and then you'll just upload, upload any image. Got it. Okay. So for right now, just put anything for right now, um, any image just to just to get it published. Yeah, for, that's it right there. Awesome. Perfect. And then next, and then over here, we'll just simply add our, yeah, recommended. Perfect. Or you can go original. Take a, take a look at original. Oh, shoot. No, you're fine. So I, yeah, see, the original actually looks better. Yeah. Click on, click on, click on that edit. Is the original. That's yeah, I know that's full. the original. Yeah, that's full. But what you had it on was square. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, but that, no, that looks good there. That looks good there. Perfect. Cause you hit cancel. Okay, perfect. You're good. So now scroll down and then, um, and then the primary text, this is where you just, you would write out the text now and then, um, and then you would add your call to action button. Okay. So this is where, and then, and then when I'm ready to publish, I just publish it. Mm -hmm. What happened to the, the picture? Um, scroll back up and just add it again. Yeah. Cause I think cause you hit cancel. So it didn't, it didn't even fully save, but hit the trash can to the right, that little trash can. Yeah. Just, just do it over and then add media. Yeah. Add image next. See right here. See right here. So, so if you go original uh, and then you were in recommended, 
Got it. Which was oh, I see. It's square. Which, yeah, it's too and small. So original and then hit next. Yeah, Lily original. That's good. And then done. Okay, cool. So there, there it is there. So um, it'll update. Once you start typing something, go ahead and start typing something. It'll, it'll, um, it should populate. Again, so the headline is at the bottom left of the image. So the headline, um, click learn more for all the details or click learn more for more details or click learn more to RSVP or click learn more. Uh, click, for all the details. For all the details. Yeah, click learn more for all the details. Perfect. Um, click learn more for pricing and photos. Perfect. Awesome. There's the image. Okay, cool. So now see how that see how, and and it and it's very it's a brief description. So what you wrote doesn't necessarily fit. Uh, right? You can see it there to the right. So so um click learn more for 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 details. That I think that's good. Click learn more for details and then maybe put images, photos or put any of that verbiage in the text at the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so and then scroll okay. down. So now we just need to add our, our call to action button. So the learn more button is right there. So scroll down and then you'll just, um, yeah, learn more is fine. And then um, scroll down. So the destination right below. So here you'll go website and then that's where you'll paste in the um, your opt-in. So grab your opt-in page and it goes right there. Perfect. And that's it. So it's only here where you actually put everything, HTTPS, www, it's it's here in the website. Got you, it, okay. okay. So so now, um, so now so you- what is, So I have a question. What if you wanna add, what's, if, can you add more than one headline? You can, and that's a form of testing. So, but your budget needs to be a little higher. So, oh, I see. Okay, I was just seeing all these other, mm -hmm. like I saw like five, up to five headlines or something like that. Yeah, when you're running it at a higher budget and when you're running it for a longer period of time, then you'll want to, you'll want to, that's a part of testing. So testing headlines, testing images, test, testing audiences, that's a form of testing when you're running. And that's why like, that's why it's, it's these one-off ads that are not, not even really the best um, because it's just such a short period of time a listing in an open house, it's such a short period of time of running an ad where, where you, you can't possibly get that much data. That's why I always that's, recommend that's what That's why I was wondering, like, out of all of the people that you actually, uh, um, mm -hmm. out of all of the people that you actually, um, what is coach. the word I'm using? Coach. coach. Mm -hmm. um, do they, do, do people even run listing and open house? Every Are now, they... and, every now and then, and it's mainly my, my clients that, that just shit money. You know what I mean? Where they just, they're, they're just crushing it and they got to spend marketing money. Right. So they're just, so that's what, that's what I was going to ask you too. So is it even worth it? Because I've never ran open house ads ever. The only thing I've ever ran is like right before, Hey, like on Saturday, Hey, join me through my, you know, come see my open house. And mm -hmm. I give them a tour of the house, but it, it's really just to, you know, put it out there. It's more PR than it is anything. So I don't know how effective this would be if this to be I'm almost kind of wondering whether I should spend money on this. No, you should. Yeah, I would. I would for sure. Because, and to tell you the truth, you can even run it for a longer period of time. Like, like most of my clients will focus on just one thing, like focus on just the seller guide and that's it or the buyer guide and that's it. Yeah. And, and, that's and, what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking as but, well. But it's not just... both. It's one, like it's literally one. Like it's one, pick one, the buyer guy, yeah. or guy, pick one, like it's just one. It's not both, you know? So, so, and the reason for it is, is because now, now you get to put all your money into one campaign and run it for a long period of time, 90 days, for example. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and not spread yourself too thin, but, um, but at the same time, that's one strategy. This right here could be a strategy as well. What if I just run open house ads and get a shitload of people to opt into to my open houses and although it passed already, I mean, it's still it's still a lead. I could probably show that person another listing. Yeah, that's so, true. So I have clients that really run that 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 won't. I have one client right now, Oscar. He's not running a buyer guide or a seller guide. He's only running ads on his broker's listings. And these are listings that are some of the listings are even already under contract, but he still has the ad running and he's still capturing leads every day from it. 
and his first email that goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Oscar. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring a few minutes ago on this beautiful open, on this beautiful listing. Unfortunately, it went under contract. However, I do have, right? So that could be a first email that went out, letting that person know, hey, sorry, but I still captured the lead off of a listing. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and so you would just spend all your money and all your time just running that type of a campaign. So it's either an open house strategy and, and you're running with, with this type of strategy from this point on or, or a listing strategy or, or the seller guide or buyer guide. So it's kind of, makes up, sense. It's kind of up to you. But, but, what, but, but the reason why these listings and open houses are kind of one off is because normally a person would only run it for a few days and that's it. And so, and so that's why the long, it's, it's all about the long game with, with, with social media advertising. It's all about the long game. Yes, you can have fast success for sure, but but it's the pixel, it's the custom audiences. It's really that is what I'm paying for as well. And I need to make sure that those audiences get big. But if I keep running different campaigns and different products and different services, then my, my audiences aren't going to be that big because they're all spread too thin. Yeah, that makes sense. At the end of the day, I really just want to focus on my my buyer, my buyer guide. But go all in on the buyer guide. Run this one. Run this one just so you can experience it and, and, and get some leads off of it and, and, and see how it goes. But but in the future, yeah, I would I would go all in with, with your buyer's agent and just promote the shit out of that buyer's guide. Okay. And, and it would do really, really good focusing in on one strategy. Okay. And, so and, it, this will... and with your social media marketing, with your offline, with your word of mouth, yes, Sharon can do it all. But when it comes to our Facebook ads, that's the strategy. Right. You know I mean? So, okay. so this will yeah. be in draft until it, I'm ready. I'll just fin I'll fi I'll finish it all up and then it'll be ready to go for Saturday. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so go I can ahead, right publish it because it's not, it's, it's not going to go live until next, whatever, next Saturday or, or wherever it's Saturday, but it's publish okay. it anyways, publish it anyways, just so it, just so it's, it's, it's out there and it's in line. And then all you would have to do is come into, so X out to the top left. I'll show you how to come into it later. So, and then X out or uncheck the boxes, or you can just hit one selected, one selected, the blues at the top on, just check them all. <clears throat> so you can just, yeah, you can either check the boxes to the left or, or hit the X at the top, one selected. Yeah, just X out there, X out there, perfect. And then now click on the campaign, actually you're there. So now just check the box. So that's scheduled, the 4310. So now in the future, all you do is just check that box on the campaign tab. That's where we're at right now, campaign. So you would check the box and then you would click on the third tab, the ads for one campaign. So click on the third tab and then you would come over here to the to the title, click on edit. So right below the title, 4 through 10 FRW video, right below the title. Oh. So you'll click on edit and then you would come in here and change out that text. Got it, okay. And, okay. Then, and then you would publish it here, just on this step, you would publish it and that's it. Okay, perfect. Now remember, remember when you publish it, when you publish it, if it gets stuck, if at the bottom it doesn't turn green, then and, and it gets stuck while well, hit edit so as you watch type in anything scroll down and go back to the text and just type in join us open house saturday whatever now the green button lights up so click the green button it goes blue and then it goes green if it doesn't go green it got stuck right so that's when you'll open up another tab you'll go back to the ads manager and you'll click the blue button in the top right okay review and review publish. that'll be blue okay. that'll be blue so you push that, click that, and, and that will push it through. Got it. Okay, so whenever I'm ready to edit, I edit the ads page. The ad site, yeah. But check the box on the campaign tab. Check the box there so Facebook knows which one you're you're referring to. And then, and then yeah, and then come on to the third tab. Got and, it. So yeah. check the box here, then go here. Got it. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. And that's Alrighty. it. Alrighty. Run that. Keep me posted. Um, and, and, and let's get your buyer, let's get your next buyer, one, buyer guide one out after, after this one ends. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll talk soon. Thank you so I much. Sure. I really I'll be a message away. You're so welcome. Okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.